It's the Sunday Showcase on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. Welcome to Bells in the Bat Free. In case you couldn't guess, this is our Halloween edition, so stand by for some thrills and chills. If you're chilly, Mr. Bell, I can close the window. Not those kind of chills, Brad. I'm talking about stories to curdle your blood. Blah. Yeah, if I drink curdled blood, I go blah myself. I could check the fridge for some fresh blood. What I'm getting at, guys, is that I want to do a story that's scary. Oh, like uh, your favorite stock dropping a few points? Or like blowing out a transistor in your transistor. Your sister resistor? No, no, no. Things that'll really scare a person. What we really need, Mr. Bell, is some specter of evil to guide us. Do you know any specters of evil? Well, there's my landlord. He's wanting money from me. That's pretty scary. I expect I can scare up a scary specter, Mr. Bell. Do I want to know how you would do that? No. But I'll tell you anyway, with my specter, summon you later. You can summon an evil specter from beyond. Well, if you mean from beyond the door, yeah, hold on. Uh, who are you calling there, Arnie? I'm not calling, I'm summoning. With my specter, summon you later. That's a telephone. It's a specter, summon you later. Telephone, and it was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. In order to summon specters. Is that true, Mr. Bell? Well, how should I know? Well, wasn't Alexander Graham Bell like your grandfather or something? Well, I, I, um... I don't think so. We'll have a seance later and find out. Have a what? Seance! Seance! Us! I make a simple statement, I get vaudeville here. Hold on, hold on, they should be answering any second now. Hello, evil specters are us. Whether modern or primeval, we'll handle your evil upheaval retrieval. How can we help you achieve fear and torment today? We need an evil specter to teach us what is really scary. Well, we feature creature teachers. We'll send one right over. Dandy, when should we get here? <laughs> What kept you? I hit the lights wrong. How can I assist you? We're putting together a Halloween show, and we need to know what's really scary. So you want to know what's really scary? Yeah, that's what I just said. Very well. Listen carefully. There will be a quiz. A beating heart beneath the floor, a ghost at the door, a vampire at your neck, a haunted discotheque, a skeleton dancing, a zombie romancing, a lumbering mummy, a ghoul who's getting chummy, a bony hands caress someone from the IRS, a disembodied head, a horde of walking dead, a witch's broomstick, an angry John Wick, the devil on a mission, any politician! These are a few of the scariest things. Oh, well, that's a good list to start with. Um, thank you very much. So, what do we owe you? An innocent soul to torture through eternity! <laughs> we got innocent souls here, guys? <laughs> don't look at me. I probably don't qualify. Can we give you an IOU? Oh, how about 20 bucks? I don't know if we have any cash. That's all right. I take Slay Pal. <laughs> okay, I mean PayPal. You can pay me that way. Okay, done. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's decide on a really scary thing to do here. Well, personally, I think... Uh, you expecting a call there, Mr. Bell? No, uh, not really. This wasn't scheduled in this episode. Um, here, you guys talk amongst yourself. I'll catch this. Yeah, hello. Okay, personally, I like the mummy. Uh, not the daddy? We could always do a vampire. They're always looking pretty cool. Yeah, but how do they have their hair so neat and their clothes so nice when they can't even look in a mirror to check themselves? I think their familiars may do that for them. Familiars? I'm not familiar with familiars. They're sort of like vampire chickens. Uh, what, what? A chicken. One more time there. A chicken. Let's just dog ear this conversation. Okay, guys, uh, I'm back. Um, did you decide on, um, anything? What was your phone call all about, Mr. Bell? What was it all about? Yeah, Mr. Bell, who interrupted our show when we are trying to find something scary? Well, uh, it was my urologist. So whose urologist was it? What? 
You said it was my urologist. So is it my ologist or your ologist? It's his urologist. So now it's his ologist? Brad, Brad, let's just say that it's one of my doctors. Oh, not one of your eye doctors again. We've gone through that so many times. Brad, the urologist is not an eye doctor. Well, thank heaven. It's a doctor that takes care of things at the other end than an eye doctor takes care of. So he's a foot doctor. Not quite that far away from the eyes. More like halfway down to the eyes. A uh, belly button doctor. Yeah, let's let's go with that. That's close enough. So what did your urologist have to say? Well, I recently had a routine blood test. Did it pass? Pass what? The test! Yes, yes, it passed. What kind of grade did it get? Well, just a C+. Plus. Why are you looking at us like that's some sort of foreshadowing or something? He, um, told me that my, uh, PSA numbers are high. Wow, congratulations, Mr. Bell! Congratulations? Yes, for your PSA numbers, your podcast satisfaction amount. That's not what it means, Brad. Oh. Then it's podcast stinks agreement? It has nothing to do with the podcast, Brad. It has to do with my, um, here. Let me write it down for you. Pro-state. So you're pro-state instead of anti-state? Is that it? No, no, no. It it just means that I may have that scary C word. Well, the scariest C word I know is Hunchpard. Brad, it just means that Mr. Bell may have an illness that needs to be looked into. So he wants me to have an MRI. You don't have to spell it out, Mr. Bell. Go on and have your Marie. Brad. And bring back some Marie's for us, too. All right, through the magic of podcasting, I'm going to head over there right now. While you're gone, trying to think of something scary. I think this is scary enough for Mr. Bell. Hello, are you here for your MRI? Yes, yes, I am. Come with me, please. All righty. Do you know what MRI stands for? Magnetic resonance imaging. We prefer the term makes a racket incessantly. So it's loud? <laughs> oh, yes, it's very loud. Can I wear earplugs? No, no. That's no fun. For me? For us. Dandy. Here it is. We call it Big Bertha. Because it's so big? No, no, no. It's because it's like it's giving birth and you're the baby. Okay. What do I need to do? Just lay here on this comfortable cold slab of plastic. All right. Uh, oh, boy. That is uh, hard plastic, isn't it? Mm. Uh, oh, at least I've got a pillow. Yes, you'll be charged for that. Next, we strap down your feet. Why are you strapping my feet? We don't want pictures of your feet. Oh, my, especially yours. Now what? Now we shove your great big body into that tiny little hole. Oh? Are you claustrophobic? No, I'm not. You will be. All right, send him in. Oh, I, I don't think I'm going to fit. Charlie, get the goose grease. There you go. Ew! This process takes about half an hour, Mr. Bell. You can expect to hear some fairly loud sounds. What kind of sounds? You will actually think that you are in a four-star hotel. Oh. As it is being torn down. Oh. Good luck, Mr. Bell. We'll see you when it's all over. (laughs) All right. Loud sounds. Let's hear some... Oh, come on. Those aren't so loud. Glad that's over with. I'm ready to come out now. Hello? I'm ready to come. Ow! Maybe I should try to nap in here. That would be... You've got to be kidding me. Hello? This is getting kind of weird in here. Thirty minutes later. Stop! 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 Thank you. Would it be possible to get just a little music in here? Just a little music? Mr. 
Mr. Bell, you're done. Welcome out. What? You're done, Mr. Bell. Thank you very much. You'll be getting a call about the results. What? Someone show him to his car, please. This way, Mr. Bell. What? Just hold on to my arm here. What? Oh, and if you'd like to give me a $50 tip, say what? What? Thank you. Well, Mr. Bell, it's been several days since your Marie... MRI, Brad! Your MRI, Brad. Have you heard from your ologist yet? No, but he should call me any second now. Whoa, that works well. Hello. Mr. Bell, this is your ologist, and I have the results of your Miri. So that's how you pronounce it. As you recall, your blood test indicated the possibility that perhaps, maybe, there's a chance that you could have the early stages of prostate cancer. Well, the MRI confirmed it. That I have cancer? Not exactly. It confirmed the possibility that perhaps, maybe, there's a chance that you could have the early stages of prostate cancer. So the MRI didn't tell me anything new? Well, it did confirm what we thought that we might know. So I could have stayed at home and hammered pots and pans together to get the same result? Well, it did confirm that we need to take the next step. And what is the next step? We need to get a biopsy. A biopsy? A sample of the tissue in question. And how do you go about retrieving this tissue? Well, just imagine your worst Halloween nightmare. <laughs> because this is very important, we want to do it as soon as possible. So... Let me see. I've got my calendar here. Let's see where I can insert you. Don't say insert. To get to the bottom of this. Don't say bottom. How about the middle of next month? Next month? It's a date. Be sure that you're there. No ifs, ands, or... You've been listening to the very frightening Halloween edition of Bells in the Battery. Copyright... Mr. Bell, I want to help. No, please don't help, Brad. I have contacted a very good friend of mine. Copyright 2023... She's a crisis therapist. This isn't a crisis. At least not yet, Brad. That's very brave of you to say, Mr. Bell, but she has words that will calm your fears. I'll pass. Copyright 2023 by John Bell Creative. She's on the phone. I'll put her on speaker. No, Brad. The older you get, the more your organs are mad at you. Mad at me? Because when do you ever talk to them? Who is it? Like you can say, hey, prostate, when have you ever thanked it for anything? Just took it for granted, so now it's like... Aren't you sorry you ignored me? Like, my gallbladder is furious because... How did we get to your gallbladder? Gallbladder's not a nice-sounding thing for such a hard-working organ and saying that it spews out bile. Ew. I mean, it's, it's abused, and it doesn't deserve it. So you need to go to each organ that you've ignored and apologize and... Apologize? Do some ritual, wrap up a little Christmas present for each one that's appropriate. You know my gallbladder has the same birthday I do, so, like, we can celebrate together. LLC.